Hey guys, last night we spent New Year's Eve in Pisa. Today, as you can see behind me, I'm standing in front of the monuments. We're going to walk around the area. I'll tell you a little bit about the history. Be sure to like the video down below and to subscribe. visit any of the monuments in Pisa without the tower, it will cost about 5 euros for the person monument and 1 to 2 euros per monument that you add to your visit. However, the cathedral is free. The baptistry of Pisa is bigger than the one in Florence and in fact it is the largest in Italy, built between 1152 and 1363. It is also leaning at about half a degree towards the cathedral. You can get a unique perspective of the Piazza dei Miracoli and some awesome pictures if you climb to the viewing level which was not open at the time of our visit. The Campo Santo is a mausoleum that was built between the 13th to the 15th century. It took such a long time because of the frequent wars between Pisa and the rest of the city-states. The Compensanto, which is a cemetery or a mausoleum, dates back to the 13th century and as you can see when you visit it is also covered in frescoes which some of them have been damaged over time from humidity and also from an allied bombing raid during World War II. However many of the frescoes have been relocated to the Sinopie Museum. Pisa itself is a small town and if you are planning on visiting I would highly recommend spending no more than a day as Florence is only an hour and a half by bus and if you spend the night before then you can get an earlier start the next day to visit the monumental area and if you go early in the morning you can easily see everything in less than four or five hours however expect large crowds during summer and on holidays To visit the tower is about 18 euros and for me it's too much as you're basically paying for the reparation to prevent it from falling. Hey. The sensation of walking is a little strange. There is a story, as I'm sure most of you have heard when you were in school, that Galileo tested his theory of the law of gravity and conducted an experiment on top of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, in which he dropped two cannonballs of different weights at the same time to see which would land first, and as the story goes, both hit the ground at the same time. Also, the Tower of Pisa was used as a Nazi observation tower during the war, and as the US Army was advancing on Pisa, they were about to destroy the Tower of Pisa as it, they believed that the tower posed a threat to their advance. However, thankfully, the demolition was called off at the last minute. As soon as you get onto the top of the tower, you don't have as much of the same sensation of leaning because you're leaning, it's leaning in the opposite direction and they built it like that so as to compensate for the tower actually falling because as you can see, it may not see, you may not be able to see it as much on video but in person, it's leaning quite significantly. And when you're up there, you can stay, they say only about 15 minutes but mostly, you can say pretty much as long as you want. to me 
like the video showing you the best things to do in Milan, Lake Como, Florence and Pisa. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video down below. See you next time. Oh,